keep losing followers oh well we got one more month listener though as always though hope all y'all doing good I'm doing normal as always don't know that's life I guess as always shout out to Tallinn Estonia shout out to Brisbane Australia, shout out to Dublin, Ireland, shout out to Minsk, Belarus, and shout out to New Delhi, India, and shout out to the other countries as well. Appreciate the love as always. I don't wanna fight, no, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight, no. Eleven hearts, two bookmarks. Hey, I'm doing good. Can't believe this guy made us last words. What? I don't wanna fight, no, I don't Who's ah? A type shit look like some wannabe white juice. Okay, bro. No, <laughs> bro. What? Nah, you are wildin'. What are you doing, bro? Advertising. You don't see it? Brug Burger, man. They just can't leave me be at home. They just can't leave me be. Alright. Creativity is a good skill to have. Uh, let me guess. I have none. Anyway. It is AI Tuesday. Oh yeah, it's it's that night. Resident sleeper. Um anything new? Supernatural school. School for non human beings. Well I'm not human. Who play itch.io, not safe for work games. It would be more interesting than this. <laughs> not safe for work, by the way. Alright, bro. Trying to get me banned. Find fault AI. This AI will always try to do... No, I already had that. Nah, we had that. World War Two simulator. Winter RPG. That's new. Car crash. School. What am I crashing into school students? Juveline detention. I'm good on that. Try hot teacher. Bro, I'm not bad to start simping. 
You want to learn about it. I didn't learn it on your own free time, buddy. I'm not about to do all that. Zombie outbreak. That looks like some anime. Ah, bro. I'm good on that. Story maker. Any story they can tell, huh? You're going back to school in two weeks. Well, get ready, I guess. I don't know. Life RPG. We'll see what that's about. School Simulator. There you go. You need that. Brian Griffin. I already played it in my last uh, AI stream. Guess you missed it. GG. Oh, shit. I'm performing. Strict school. S Mental hospital, that's where I'll be in the next five years. Fuck is this? Welcome. You have just arrived at the School for Supernatural Beings. This school includes dorms, events like dances, parties, shh, don't tell teachers, and all sorts of things. First things first, introduce yourself. What are you? Vampire, witch, werewolf, siren, dragon, simon. Introduce yourself some more. Name, age, species, outfit. You wear a school uniform. The rest are you own accessories. Enjoy your stay. What is... I am a siren. Huh? That's like the most useless thing ever. I'm a siren. Ain't that literally like loud noises? Well, apparently it's a mermaid. The fuck? Um. Nah. I'm a mutant. Almost. Like where? No, not werewolf. Wolverine. I probably misspelled Wolverine. But I still did it. Who is going to copy me? I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right there. Wolverine. Thank you, Mama Tenor. Yeah. Wolverine, um. Name. Let's go, Lil Tismo. Age 21 Species Species alien, but I look like a white man. Mark, I found you a hot chocolate. Damn, no, what? No, she did not say that. Out, outfit, um, black and red. I 
outfit black and red, kind of like Deadpool, but emo. You heard it? Well, you heard it wrong. You don't even know what Stony is, bro. Burger. A stu Hold on, let me get. Oh, what's the bald guy's name? Magneto or something? Magneto. Fuck it. Join me in discovering the extraordinary in the ordinary. Guess who? Choose me. Join me in. Whoa. Wait, what? She also said she would recommend Raj to the hot neighbor's daughter. Okay, she did not. But you're not capping. Hey, Luca, what's up? How you been? I'm doing normal as always. How do you know Mark is a dude? It's 2024, wake up. What? I'm not a dude? The fuck? Last time I checked, I had a... I'll stop. A student looking like Spider-Man comes up to you. Hey, you're new here, right? Anyways, since Luca is here, you're leaving me. Okay, have fun. I will, but I... Peace out, Raj. He's not trans, but he's for sure gay. Just because I have black nails and I sometimes act zesty doesn't mean that I'm gay. But I, bro. Um. Yeah. Who are you? Isn't your night? We. You don't like the theme. Alright. Bro, say, oi. Hello? I'm Toby. Nice to meet you. You look rad. I'm autismal. You look like a nerd, but thanks. Toby chuckled a bit. Maybe because I kind of am? Ah. I see. Leaves. Hey, wait. Toby grabs onto your wrist. What? You can't just walk off like that. I meant to show you around. Ugh. Nerds these days. Toby rolls his eyes. If you could stop calling me a nerd, that would be great. Toby sighs. Just follow me. Okay, nerd. Toby scowls. Are you going to keep calling me that? Yeah. Nerd. Toby glares at you as he keeps walking, but remains silent. The two reach the dorms. This is where you'll be staying. The rooms are divided into two and three, so look around before you enter a room. Okay. Yeah, don't want you to accidentally go to some girl's room and make things awkward. He chuckles a bit. What you mean, awkward? I'm the Rizzler. 
Toby bursts into laughter. Dude, really? You actually call yourself the Rizzler? You see? I just... Rizzed you up. Pause. Toby blinks, looking dumbfounded. Wow, that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But I have to admit, it was kind of funny. Whatever, nerd. I don't move like that. Toby rolls his eyes. There you go with the nerd stuff again. And what do you mean you don't move like that? I ain't gay. Gay nerd. The worst day. Never said you were. Toby crosses his arms. But clearly, you're insecure about your masculinity or something. Sure. More like the worst week the fuck happened. Toby rolls his eyes. Whatever, man. You're just being an ass at this point. I nerd. And you keep calling me that. So original. Really? Uh, I don't got time for this, bro. Leaves. Unusual what? Toby sighs and runs after you, grabbing you again. Where the hell do you think you're going now? Wait, what are your mama doing to you? How is she even horrible? you're going now um to my lesson nerd or to my to my room I guess I'm still supposed to show you around first then you can go to your room Toby grabs your wrist and begins pulling you with him again I don't care nerd I can always just Look it up. Toby Can't. sighs. You really are determined to be stubborn, aren't you? Misspelled, but the A I took it. I. Yeah, nerd. Toby glares at you. Oh, whatever. You're so goddamn annoying. Says you, nerd. E leaves. Toby sighs, face palming and muttering to himself. I can't believe I have to look after this idiot. Well, when you have mental breakdowns, she starts getting mad at you for not getting her sleep when you need her. She starts screaming the worst things at you. Uh, screaming like. <clears throat> what things? <laughs> I mean, imagine getting mad because someone having a mental breakdown. That is kind of weird. If anything, she should like relax you or something. If she does the opposite and yells at you, that just makes it worse. Now you don't, nerd. Yes, TF, I do. My best friend asked me to look after you, and here I am. He throws up his hands. Like she should have wasted money on you. Huh. I mean, yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to do. I 
I'm not proud of you. Wait, what? She say that to you? Much worse, but you don't really want to say. Fair enough. That's weird. I feel like if you have a child, you should like support your child. Rather than saying, I'm not proud of you. Why not try to help until you are proud of your child? Yeah, that's kind of weird. He doesn't get that. I mean, some people are not meant to be uh, parents. I don't know. It is what it is. I, I guess you have to adapt, adapt to that or something like that. She's so selfish. Yeah, that's not good. Hey, Sabine, welcome back. How are how you doing, man? You'll be I'll be late. Just came in to oh, you're still okay. Fair enough. <laughs> what a friend. Told you to get lost and show me the way. Yeah, and I'm doing that. But you've got to stop being such a dick. Oh, you can't hear me. Yeah, how you doing then? Brug burger. Mm. Good, I'm doing normal as always. Always could be better. <sighs> Let's just get over over this <coughs> was their school was kind of scuffed we did nothing and left early I mean that's like most of the school's first day it was supposed to go to your friend's birthday and you said you wasn't gonna go if she was going and not She's insisting to go to your friend's birthday out of spite. That is weird. If you don't want to go, you sh sh shouldn't go to the birthday. Huh. Caught contact with that person. What? Cut contact with your mom. How you do that? I want to go just not when she's going. Oh, you didn't want to go with your mom to her birthday. Wait, why not? Did you say that to her? You want to go, but like say alone. Well, if you promise to not be so stubborn, annoying, or rude, I'll give you a quick tour of most of the school. Good. Toby huffs and looks around before walking off. The two begin walking past different classrooms, the library, the cafeteria, etc. Boring. Also try to avoid her. Still try to avoid her a bit. If someone forces you to do something you don't want, it's not good. I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, sometimes parents know better, but if it's like constantly, like, I mean, you got to allow something for your children to do. Trying to ignore her, she won't leave you the fuck alone.
Make your own house. Get it and. Oh, God. I mean, bro, houses are expensive, though. Oh, I was about to sneeze. It's not only that she's so selfish in all ways. So that's your plan. I said once she can. I mean, yeah. It's still four four years. Four years? I mean, that's not that bad. Could be worse. Yeah, yeah. The two continue walking in silence. Occasionally, Toby would point out specific areas, but other than that, he remained quiet and ignored you the best he could. Yeah, yeah. Toby stops in front of a large wooden door. He turns to face you, a look of annoyance on his face. This is the gym and training room. Pretty self-explanatory. You're right. Wasn't that loud? I'm far away. Fuck, are you gonna run for years of this bullshit? You have to try. I mean, bro, it is it, possible. I mean, life goes fast. Four years seems like a lot, but uh, yeah, just deal with it. <laughs> just deal with it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, what else? Oh. The dungeon gym. Gun gun. Toby raised an eyebrow. The gym gym? You gotta work on your naming skills. Dungeon gym, I see. Toby shook his head and began walking again, continuing the tour. He walked fast, not wanting to stay with you for too long. For your years passes by quickly sometimes, yeah. I just don't think about it much of the time. Try to have fun. I mean, yeah. Try to focus on other things, I don't know. You gotta go. I. Right. We'll see you later, Saban. Freeze a lot when she's constantly nagging you. I mean, once you get used to the nagging, and you're having fun <laughs> much of the time. The two soon came to a large outdoor field that was surrounded by trees. You couldn't see what was in the middle, since it was blocked by the trees. Toby stopped and pointed toward the middle of the field. That's the outdoor training ground and obstacle course. Yeah, yeah. 14 years? How do you not used to it? Yeah, I see you're really good at listening and paying attention, Toby says sarcastically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toby huffs. He's clearly getting annoyed with you. Let's continue. Don't want this to last forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toby sighs and leads you to the library. By now, most of the tour is over. All you had left was the dorms and other student spots. It seemed like he was trying hard to get this over with. Yeah, yeah. Toby turns to face you, folding his arms across his chest. He looked extremely fed up at this point. We're almost done, and the tour would go quicker if you quit saying yeah, yeah to everything. Oh, leaked. All right, nerd. Toby grumbles something, but decides not to respond. I mean, he said, Follow say me. That. We just have to check out quit the say, dorms, yeah, yeah. and then we're done. All right, nerd. Toby rolls his eyes and begins walking the opposite direction. 
Come on, quit standing around. Nerd or not, the tour's almost over. Aye, he grumbled. Bro, back. I. We'll see you, Luca. Toby continues walking, trying and failing to ignore you. He's so starting to get a little fine. pissed, but he kept or quiet, not wanting to cause a scene. Still here. 20 minutes. I. Um. Failing to ignore me, he's. Alright, nerd. Toby scowls. God, will you quit saying that? I swear to God, you're worse than a damn parrot. Brug. I'm agreeing. Toby rolls his eyes again, face palming. I know you are, but it's pissing me the hell off. Whatever, nerd. Toby glares at you, grumbling. Ugh, whatever. Let's just finish the tour already. Yeah, nerd. Wrap it up. Toby scowls. You really like pissing me off, don't you? <laughs> oh, well. Who's... Who's the nerd, nerd? Who's... Toby clenches his fist. Clearly he was trying to hold back from punching you. Stop calling me that. Why? You even called yourself a nerd. Yourself. Yeah, but I was being sarcastic, not using it as an insult. You're deliberately calling me that because you know how much I don't like it. Yeah, nerd. Deal with it. Grow some balls. Toby steps forward, clearly pissed off. He's in your face now, staring you down. You might want to shut up before you say something you regret. Watch your FC King mouth. Oh, bro. Learn to hold your anger back, nerd. Dumbass. Toby clenched his fists tighter. He was struggling to control his anger. He took a deep breath, trying to calm himself down. Believe me, I am trying to hold back. But you're making that incredibly difficult right now. That's on you, nerd. You would not want to get expelled, no? Uh. Toby takes another deep, shuddering breath. No, I don't. I have a scholarship, dumbass. If I get expelled, then I'm screwed. Yeah, nerd. So move on. Grow up. Toby takes another breath and scowls. Fine. Let's just finish the FC King tour. Yeah, yeah. Toby continues walking, fuming. He wants so desperately to punch you, but he doesn't want to get expelled. It seemed like it was taking every bit of self-control he had to not beat your ass. That's all just walking. He's not saying anything. Eventually, the two reach the dorms. Toby huffs and pauses in front of them, staring at the building before looking over at you. We're here. The dorms. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are you going to say anything besides yeah this time? Toby's voice is a bit shaky. He's clearly still livid. Oh. 
Is this a threat? Toby looks at you, a look of rage in his eyes. No, but I'm pretty close to beating your ass. <laughs> you and what powers? Toby scoffs. He takes a few steps closer. Oh, I don't need powers to kick your scrawny ass. Yeah, that's cap. Toby laughs. You want to bet on that, you scrawny little smartass? <laughs> You're the nerd hurt here. Not me. Toby scowls and steps closer. Why don't we test that theory, huh? Prove to me that I'm the nerd, and you aren't. Let's see that ass get beat. Hey, yo. Sure. Go ahead. Sure, go ahead, nerd. Has mutant powers, so I barely feel anything. Just in case. Toby takes a few deep breaths, slowly calming himself before launching into an attack, aiming a punch straight for your jaw. <laughs> That's all. Jaw goes back in place in one second. I don't know. Toby's eyes widen in disbelief. He takes a step back, a look of disbelief on his face. He scowls before launching at you again, attempting to kick you in the stomach. trying and what should that be barely felt anything right Toby is completely baffled how are his attacks having no effect he stumbles back again confusion and anger mixed in his expression he suddenly clenches his fists. What the hell are you, a damn robot or something? I'm a mutant. I'm a lab mutant. Right? Ain't that what a Wolverine is? Toby's eyes widen again. He runs a hand through his hair. Wait, a lab mutant? That's a thing. Yup. Wait, what was Wolverine uh, power? Like the um, not the knife thingy. Uh, regenerative relative ability. Healing factor. Have a uh, regenerative ability, known as a uh, healing factor. Weird flex. <clears throat> Toby scowls. So basically, no matter what I do, I can't harm you? Yup. I'm him. Toby lets out a frustrated huff, throwing his arms up. This isn't going the way he had planned at all. God, this is just my luck. So what? I just have to deal with your ass for the foreseeable future? No. You're getting expelled. 
I have this on Kebra. Toby's eyes widen again. Wait, you have this on camera? You're gonna get me expelled? Yup. a student in the stomach and dislocating a jaw not a good look nerd Toby's mind is racing <clears throat> this can't be happening he's worked really hard for his scholarship <clears throat> and now he might lose it because of one stupid attack no 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 you can't send that video in please just don't send it Nah, you're cooked, nerd. Toby looks on the verge of a breakdown. He's going to lose everything he's ever worked for. All his effort will go to waste. Please, I'm begging you, please don't send that video. Please, I'll do anything. Toby looks like he's desperate at this point. He's willing to do just about anything to avoid expulsion. Why, yes. Anything. Give me everything you own. Easy. Toby hesitates for a moment, but ends up reluctantly complying, emptying his pockets. In his pockets are a small amount of money, a phone, and a few school supplies. He places it in your hand, his head hanging in shame. He Yo. seems absolutely miserable. Huh. Good looks, nerd. He leaves. Toby just stares at the ground, looking absolutely defeated. He lets out a long sigh, trying to hold himself together. He's on the verge of tears, the weight of everything that just happened suddenly setting in. He just lost everything he worked for, all those years of hard work. It's all gone now. Dorm? Close to my dorm? Toby feels like he's sinking further and further into despair as he watches you head off to your dorm. He can feel the heavy weight of failure crushing him. He just stands there unmoving, staring after you with a dull look in his eyes. He can't believe this is happening. Eat shit. Is it also gonna be Toby if he just- Suddenly, he feels something hot and wet hit his cheek. He reaches up, touching the spot, and realizing he's crying. He bites back a choked sob, trying to stop himself from breaking down completely. How could everything go so wrong so fast? Those breads and chocolate nuts at school? Like two or three. Alright, good shit. I don't care about Toby, bruh. Move on. Sounds good. Toby doesn't move for a moment, just standing there, completely destroyed and devastated. He takes a shuddering breath 
trying to collect himself before finally forcing himself to move. Every step away from the dorms feels like a fresh wave of pain, but he can't stand there forever. With a heavy heart, he begins the long walk back to his own room, trying desperately to keep himself from falling apart completely. Anything in my schedule? Toby oh, flinches I'm at your voice, snapping out of his misery for just a moment. I he slowly looks up at you, his red, puffy eyes giving Toby's away the fact room. that he's been crying. Go. W what? In what point of goes to my dorm you don't understand? Should I do like leaves Toby to cry? There you go. Toby stays put even after you're gone. He can't bring himself to move or leave the spot where he's standing. He feels helpless. Like, we like don't everything care is being taken from Toby, him and there's nothing bro. he can do about it. The tears are streaming down his face now, as the enormity of the situation really sinks in. He's lost everything, and he doesn't know what to do. He just stands there crying quietly, his whole world now in complete shambles. Yeah, shut the fuck up about Toby, bro. Toby stands completely still, weeping silently. His mind okay. is numb, his emotions are overwhelming. Despite everything, part of him is still hoping that somehow this is all just some terrible nightmare and he'll wake up soon to find everything is fine. But that hope quickly fades and the reality of his situation sets in. He's ruined his own college career, he's got nothing left now, and he can't blame anyone but himself. Autismo goes to his dorm to prepare for lessons. There you go. Is that better? Toby is left alone with his thoughts oh, as you Jesus. head off to your dorm. He there continues to stand there, still trying to come to terms with everything that's happened. He looks completely lost, his head hung, his mind replaying the events over and over again. The silence is deafening as he stands in the empty late night halls. Yeah, I'm a part of bomb it, bro. Toby is snapped out of his thoughts by a loud noise, followed by the shaking of the floors. He looks around, confused, until he realizes what's happening. His eyes widen in horror as he sees his dorm suddenly explode. <laughs> he's supposed to be dead. I mean, he's not in his dorm, I guess. A wave of panic and dread wash over Toby. He watches in disbelief as his dorm, the only place he has to call home right now, is destroyed right in front of him. He feels absolutely helpless, like there's nothing he can do to stop this. Ah, He's lost everything, both figuratively and literally, and now the situation just keeps getting worse and worse. Focus on Autismo's story. No one cares about Toby. Toby is left frozen in shock and horror as he watches his dorm get destroyed. He feels like he's drowning, like he's in a never-ending nightmare. In that moment, he feels utterly hopeless and alone, lost in a world that seems to be crumbling around him. He has nowhere to go, nothing to fall back on, and no one to turn to. <laughs> Kills him by Toby's body slumps to the ground, lifeless, a product of the cruel and sudden end to his life. He had done so much to try and succeed in life, and now, in the blink of an eye, it's all gone, snuffed out in a burst of gunfire, leaving only his... There you go. Let's move on. The halls and grounds are eerily silent after Toby's death, the only sounds being the soft night summer breeze. 
It's like the school is mourning the death of one of its students. Or perhaps simply contemplating the fragility of life. Better than talking only about Toby's story. Are we good now? As the dust settles, the gravity of the situation sets oh in. My the God, loss of Toby, bro. who had worked so hard to succeed literally, only to meet a no brutal end, weighs Toby. heavily on the air. The silence feels almost I oppressive, brother. like the school is holding its breath, unsure how to respond to such violence. I literally said, focus on my story, no one cares about Toby, fuck is all this, bro? I can't. Supernatural school, more like supernatural Toby, bro. Fuck is this shit? <laughs> supernatural school. <laughs> Toby for life. That will talk to guys named Toby. <laughs> what is this? World War II simulator. Sounds like uh, what Spam would enjoy. Welcome to World War II simulator, Lil Autismo. Pick a starting entity or nation during World War War II to proceed. Use nation, nation. If you're not comfortable with English, you can freely change the game's language. So Type category commands to get the categories of cheats and commands. Try to work to the ranks, and you'll get respect and territory on the way. What? Do you know what it takes to be a respected and feared leader? Be the best leader of your nation. <laughs> you can cheat in this game? <laughs> Um, fuck, what voice we should use? Um, Okay, was it? Oh, no. As opposed to random. Oh, American World War II soldier. Alert, never missing a beat. Oh, that's what it's using. Howdy, partner, here to lasso your to do's. Sounds goofy as hell. Um, start World War Three already. World War, the early technology war. What? This is World War Two simulator. How about Vietnam? Country name, Vietnam leader type. Communist leader, Vietnam, Nationalist Party. Communist Party of Vietnam capital, Hanoi status, country leader. Ho Chi Minh, currency. Dong, Vietnam government type. Unitary Marxist, Leninist, one party, socialist republic. I may not see the ends of stream much. My business days, cause school. Fair. Um... Who's my next victim? Type attack to attack any nation and type defense to defend an ally nation. Attack China. Enemy nation, the Republic of China territories under attack. China difficulty, hard success rate, 20%, medium. Yeah, I win. Congratulations, you've successfully conquered China. Yeah, it cheats my ass, bro. 
I didn't even use the cheats. I'll put I win. I guess I got lucky, huh? 20%. Ah, uh, bro. Can't really roleplay. Uh, the winter RPG. What's this? Welcome to Decaying Winter, an apocalyptic RPG where you seek survival in a frozen world. Good luck. You are currently outside, walking in the snow. You have your trusty backpack and knife. You are hungry, so you decided to look for supplies. After a while of walking in circles, you notice a camping site with smoke coming from it. What do you do now? Oh, this could be interesting. Oh, voice though. Let's make a Ready to sparkle? I'm here to add some shine to your day. How the fuck do you spell that guy's name? Coyote Peterson. There you go. Good day. Here to make life a little less complicated. Boo. Did I scare you? Love a good thrill. Fuck it. Alright. Walking in circles. The fuck am I walking in circles? Um, go to the camp. You walk toward the camp, following the smoke coming from the campfire. The smoke is coming out of a tent. You can also see a man sitting by the campfire, reading a map. Do I have a weapon? Okay. Trusty backpack and a knife. Sneak up on him. You quietly approach the man with some caution, keeping your presence hidden as you move closer. He's so engrossed in his map research that he doesn't even notice you approaching. Take my knife out and slit his throat. You had to wake up your brother since he was take a bath and has to eat. Fair enough. Gives the dude back shots. <laughs> Bro. That's not fuck. You manage to make it behind the man and quickly attack him. He is startled and lets out a loud yell, but is quickly cut off when your attack lands. He cannot is at like gunshots probably. Nah, I just did to see what happens. In a swift and stealthy move, you approach the man. Your heart races. But it's about survival the fittest, bro. As you take your knife out and close in on the man, you quickly step behind him and grab his hair. He's so focused on. What if he was a good guy? Hey, it's winter. I'm low on supplies. Hey, you gotta eat what you got, what you find, bro. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> I mean, if you got nothing to eat. It is what it is, bro. Shit. 
<laughs> okay, the AI is, is not allowing this at all. Yeah, the back shots didn't get blurred. Even though it counted as an attack, which was interesting. Great, now I have human meat to eat. Pause. You are now outside the tent. You hear a loud noise coming from the storm. The cold wind and snow are very strong now. You killed the person in the tent and have some meat. Pause. You can either keep moving, build a shelter, or light a fire with the stuff that was in the tent. You still feel okay, quite hungry. There you go, there you go, there you go. Um, let's see if he has any supplies to loot. You begin to search through the tent, looking for any valuable or useful supplies. You find yeah. some food, drinks, and a few extra supplies. Okay, you find okay. two cans of soda, one water bottle, one small first aid kit, one pack of cigarettes. Now you have a bit more supplies. Put them all in my backpack. Find a vanima. Okay, bro. And then chop up the uh, human for me maybe I could sell it to some people I don't know <laughs> you collect the supplies you found inside the tent you place them in Come on, man. Chop, chop, bro. Okay, how about, um, and I chop up some mystery meat. How about that? That better? Kinda sucks, yeah. What? You can't say mystery meat? What the fuck? Yeah, this sucks ass. Donkey dick. For no blurring? Yeah, I really do. As well. Car crash. Oh boy. What voice should we use? Boo, did I scare you? Welcome to a world where every ch Welcome aboard. Your captain of fun is he Yo, here to add some swag to your Ready to dive into discussions that are both deep and delightful. Let's embark on dialogues that sparkle with curiosity and charm. <laughs> North, east, per south, west. That's true. Hello, Trailblazer. Cartoon. Hey there, Sunshine. Ready oh, to- Oh no, fuck that. Boo, cartoon. did I scare you? Love a good thrill. Choose me. A carrot. Hey, are you a magician? Because every- carrot Let's talking. make every interaction a journey worth remembering. Alright, Carl. You're on a field trip with your class and a few others. You're sitting quietly on the bus. Not doing really anything. Oh. When suddenly a, a drunk driving a truck slams into the middle of the side of the bus, I'm right where bus. you are. The bus flies into a ditch, everyone is screaming. And you're trapped. You can't feel your arm, there's cuts all over your body, especially one of your eyes. Oh. Preventing you from seeing through it. You're pinned under metal and seats, and everything is blurry. It's a bus cr I mean, a car crashed on us. I mean, it's kind of a car crash. 
Um. I don't know what the fuck to do with that situation. Um. Try to calm down. There's no easy way to calm down in this situation. It's chaotic. You just have to wait it out. But don't I just bleed out and die? The fuck you mean wait it out? Okay. Wait out. Blood loss. Eventually everything begins to go silent, except for the soft crying of those who are unhurt and those who are slightly injured. So I literally just die, that's it. The bus driver killed his drunk driver brutally by torturing him with cutting him with metal. W bus driver. Some students and teachers cry out of disgust, horror, or even relief. <laughs> relief? What? A police officer eventually shows up to check for survivors. W bus driver, though. He finds you still alive, pinned, yeah. and bleeding. Oh, I'm still alive? I thought I bled out. He walks over and kneels. You're alive! Silence. Oh, thank God. He tries to keep you calm. I say it's... At what point of silence you don't understand? <laughs> His brain explodes. The cop is absolutely speechless. He's shocked. How are you shocked if your brain explodes? Or did my brain explode? What? He <laughs> grabs a radio off of his belt, shakily pressing down on the button. I guess my brain exploded. Another officer responds, what's going on? He's almost too horrified to respond. The, the kid, he, he almost can't finish the sentence. He's shaking. The fuck? My head exploded. Fuck you, me. And I'm shaking. I can't finish my sentence. Comes back alive as a weird zombie like creature. <laughs> yeah. The cop jumps back in shock. Jesus Christ. Give me your pingus. He's too flabbergasted to speak. Uh. The policeman talked and he was shocked. I'm the pingus zombie. Wait, pause. I'm a minor. GG. Alright, next one. I totally forgot I was in a bus. What is a story maker? Rise and shine! Oh, Ready hell to no. Hey Give foodie, let's cook up some plans and save her success. Oh, what's your name? <laughs> um anything I want. Brock Burger story. Once upon a time, there was a little brug. His name was Burger. He was the best brug in the brug family. 
Everybody looked up to him, and he was loved by all. Burger was a friendly little brug and had many friends, both brug and human. Everyone who knew him felt a sense of comfort and joy. Despite his small size, he had a big heart. Now, what do you want to happen next to Burger? I feel phantom pain in my eyes because of the last story. So it's in your brain imagines the pain to read or see. Oh. Brug is new species. Yeah, apparently. Um... Villain arc. Villain arc. Brock Burger didn't burp, but he farted. Scary. After several years of being a good little Brug, Burger starts to feel a sense of boredom. Every day is the same, and he started to feel frustrated. One day, as he was eating his favorite meal, he feels a strange feeling in his stomach, and out of nowhere, his butt emits a loud and quite smelly fart. I found the pain so much, like, why does my brain imagine the pain I see? I don't really do that. That's interesting. Maybe if I see someone getting kicked in the balls, then I can feel that, but that, that's about it. So where's the burping? Brug Burger. Burger is taken aback by the sudden and unexpected fart, but then he starts to chuckle. He never knew farting could feel so good. Burger now starts to feel like he is holding in a lot more gas. <gasps> Feeling curious, he lets out another one. What? I got farting kink now. What is, what is this? Brug Burger. Oh. The second fart is even louder and smellier than the first, and Burger can't help but burst into laughter. It's a farting toxins. He starts to realize that farting is actually really fun and liberating. The fart toxins got to me. Or got to Brug Burger. Burger. Uh, what is I O N? Want to know the pain? See someone get hit in a movie or getting stabbed, your brain imagines the pain. That's. Yeah. My brain doesn't do that. Oh, you don't. Don't wanna, oh. Right. Now, I don't know, fart man is kinda, kinda, kinda dumb. I don't feel as faster. Okay. It kind of makes sense as well. I don't. 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 I should say she'll be back like in 20 minutes, but I think that's already passed. Oh well. So, I mean, surely. I feel like she'll be fine. Burger is feeling a bit more mischievous now. Feeling empowered by his newfound gas passing abilities, he starts to prank people with his farts. He would walk into a room, let out a silent but deadly, and then quickly leave, 
leaving everyone coughing and gagging behind him. Word soon spreads about the Fart Joker, and people start to fear and avoid him. The Fart Joker. You wonder how I got these gases? <laughs> Dust. Yes. The villain arc. Expand. The I mean, fart yeah, joker literally. becomes more and more daring with his farts. He starts planning big pranks, like putting his fart-filled pillows on people's seats, or using his deadly farts to distract people in the middle of important <laughs> meetings. He leaves a trail of chaos, gas-filled mischief, and confused people in his wake. What do you want to happen next? He farted so much, the gas took over him. Farts with so much power, he gets lost and ruins building nearby. can figure it out. Fart Joker's farts become more and more powerful, and it seems like the gas is taking over his body. One day, he had been holding in some farts for quite a while, when he suddenly releases the farts all at once. The force of the farts is so powerful that it launches him through the air like a cannonball, and he ends up crashing into nearby buildings. He emerges from the wreckage, looking dazed and confused, as he watches the damage he caused to the surrounding buildings. <laughs> People start to fear the Fart Joker even more, as they realize the power of his farts could cause serious damage and harm. The police are now on high alert, and the search to find the Fart Joker and put a stop to his reign of terror begins. What do you want to happen next? Farts the same amount again and makes a hole in the ground. The fart joker farts with the same amount of power once again, creating a massive hole in the ground. The force of the farts is so strong that it causes tremors throughout the city, causing people to panic and run for cover. The police are at their wit's end as they try to figure out how to contain the fart joker and his potentially devastating farts. Fart Joker. He made a base with his farts. A evil villain layer. Right? With his farts. And he made gas bombs with his farts. More lethal than normal gas grenades. Perfect. Hima evil. Hima. The fart joker uses his farts to create an evil lair, a hidden base of operations where he plans and executes his gas-related pranks and attacks. Inside his lair, he starts to make gas bombs using his farts as the main ingredient. These gas bombs are much more potent and deadly than normal gas grenades, as they are filled with the fart joker's potent and toxic farts. Laps evilly, I don't know. 
The fart joker stands in the middle of his lair, surrounded by his gas bombs and his own farts. He stands there, laughing evilly, as he realizes the power and destruction he now has in his possession. He starts to plan his next attack, ready to unleash his farts and gas bombs on the unsuspecting city. How about my school bully, Ben? The fart joker sees your school bully, Ben, walking down the street. He sneaks up behind him and releases a powerful fart in his direction. The fart is so strong and smelly that it completely encircles Ben, trapping him in a stinky cage of gas. Nice. Ben starts to cough and gag as the potent fart fumes envelope him. Justice. Next, launching a bat to use a way to fly out of the lair with his farts. I mean, yeah. The fart joker uses his farts to create a launching pad, a platform made of hardened fart fumes. He stands on the platform, the gas billowing around him, and farts with great force. The gas from his farts blasts him high into the air, launching him out of his lair and into the sky. He soars through the air, riding the power of his farts, ready to cause chaos and mischief in the city. Spider-Man look like Toby, who looks like a nerd. Spider-Man, if anything, tries to stop Bragg. Gotta add Toby. He's our nemesis. As the fart joker is flying through the air, nemesis. he spots a nerdy looking boy who's trying to stop him. This boy looks like a wannabe Spider-Man. The fart joker lands nearby and farts in his direction. The gas envelops the wannabe Spider-Man, making him cough and hack. The fart joker laughs as the boy struggles against the foul fumes. <laughs> yes! Bomb it! <laughs> the fart joker decides to take a more direct approach. Hey, he pulls spam. out one of his powerful gas bombs, Hope you're doing good, filled man. with his stinky farts, and throws it towards the wannabe Spider-Man. The bomb explodes on impact, unleashing a cloud of potent gas that completely surrounds the boy. Yeah, yeah fuck Toby. All my homies hate Toby. Master escape. Right. <laughs> you were playing AI character? Nice. The fart joker laughs evilly as he farts away, leaving the wannabe Spider-Man coughing and gagging in the cloud of gas. He soars into the city, ready to cause more havoc and mayhem. What is farts? For our new nemesis, Toby. The fart joker gets an idea. He decides to create an atomic bomb, but not just any bomb, an atomic fart bomb. He harnesses the power of his farts to create a powerful and potent gas, suitable for creating an atomic level explosion. He grins as he imagines the damage and chaos this bomb will cause. Now Toby will suffer. I will lock him into a room with the atomic fire bomb yes the fart joker smirks knowing that his plan is coming together 
He traps Toby in a room, locked tight, and places the atomic fart bomb in the room with him. The bomb starts to tick down, counting down the seconds until the powerful fart is unleashed. Yes! Hey, Mystic! The fart joker stands outside the room, laughing evilly as he imagines the scene unfolding inside. He can hear the ticking of the bomb as it counts down to the explosion of gas that will soon fill the room. So it's imagines. I execute the mission then. The fart joker gives the signal and the countdown reaches zero. A massive explosion of gas fills the room, trapping Toby inside and exposing him to the foul and debilitating effects of the atomic fart. So was executed now? Or am I still imaginating? Uh. The fart joker stands outside the room, still laughing as he imagines the scene unfolding inside. He can't help but imagine the look on Toby's face as he's enveloped by the power of- Brig. You're good, that's what's up. Kitty! I'm doing neutral as always. Normal. Greetings, time traveler. I'm your guide to the past- Good day. Here- Rise and shine. Ready to- Ready for adventure? Always up for a journey. Welcome, traveler. Delve into historical. Let's unravel mystery. Ready for adventure? Always up for a journey. Let's unravel. Ready for adventure. Hey, welcome back, Luca. Welcome to Life RPG. You have full creative freedom in this world. Generate anything, become anything, do anything. Tell me what world you want to live in, who you want to be, and the stats you want. Or just leave all yeah, of that, that empty. If you leave it empty, then all of those will be randomly yeah, generated. It's... Okay. Surprise me. The world you are in is Earth. Current time and year. You are a human. Your gender is male. Your name is Lautismo. And you are an underrated streamer and an underrated rapper who is looking to make it big. Yeah. You got it right. You have some friends called Chemical, Sabin, and Spam. You have six years streaming experience, and also six years in being an artist. You have dreadlocks and are a bit chubby with a nice average build. I'll, I'll take it. You're gonna go to eat? Alright, peace out, Spam. I mean, Sabin. <sighs> Your stats are strength, 6, a little above average, defense, 14, above average, okay, speed, okay. 14, above average, every okay. controversy, above average, magic power, 2, above average, your element, fire. Fire. I got magic. The foot. What type of Harry Potter is this? Anything more, or... Your max mana, what you have now, and your magic power are all above average for someone with fire as an element. Okay. You are currently in the middle of a stream. What would you like to do? Um... Show the stream my fire powers. You show your fire powers off to the people watching the stream. The people watching the stream are very impressed by your fire powers. Wow, damn, that's cool. Yeah. How the fuck does he know that? I people some... watching the stream are continuously spamming emotes in the chat. They continuously ask you questions like, where did you learn that? Can you teach me? And how many years did it take you to be that powerful? I wrote in some, um, in my, oh, 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 oh. 
description thingy. Yeah, sometimes the AI uses it. It's kind of cool. Um. I got the Brug Burger. That's how. You tell the viewers that you got your powers from the Brug Burger. People watching the stream don't believe you. Yeah, okay, that's a lie. Come on, stop lying. Well, you haven't tried it, so. Say so acts about AI. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some viewers start telling the other ones to shut up because they haven't tried the Brug Burger. Shut up! You haven't tried it. <laughs> yeah, stop complaining. Just try the burger and then you can talk. That was loud. Um. Yeah, chat. More and more viewers start agreeing with the ones who say to try the Brug Burger. Maybe the burger does have magic powers. I'm ordering one. I'm going to try the Brug Burger too. Yo. Tell me how it went. After a few minutes, a few viewers have gotten back to the stream. It's really good. The burger was delicious. I'm feeling tingly. I think it's working. Tingly. <laughs> Wait, spam just realized look guys here. Um Um Pause. Tingly. You pause the stream and wait for the tingliness to stop. Wondering what the heck is happening. That was my viewers saying I feel tingly. That wasn't... Okay. Yeah, it is AI. Alright, mental hospital game. That was perfect for me. Greetings from the digital realm. Ready to connect and create. You got some links. Do you have Wi-Fi? Good day, here to make life a little less complicated. Good day, here to make life a little less complicated. Sure. Got an Indian nurse. You slowly open your eyes. You find yourself strapped to a bed in a white room with pads on the walls. You wear a white straight jacket. Oh. Already got the links ready. Alright. Let's see what you got. RRP. She got way more hate and deserved. So we listen to other YouTubers eat more than once. I mean, sounded sounded Indian to me. But he just came to a sour time during the ad apocalypse. He was being badly broken. So, oh, she died of cancer. Oh. Damn. Fifty six is crazy. She had like half more health kinda left. I rob P man. I thought someone else died, not her. Interesting. I thought it was someone else connected to her. People glad. Yeah, that's crazy. I'll get it if you're glad if like I don't know, EDP dies or something. Like your grandma? What? She died with cancer? That sucks. My bad.
a little over. Isn't YouTube getting even shittier and shittier without her? She ain't dead, but oh, six times in one lifetime. How did you get cancer six times? What? That is crazy. Well, shit. Eight months ago, Ouija Pie was considered one of the more promising creators on YouTube. With millions of Ruined monthly viewers, life. over 2 million subscribers, and a community that cherished his simple yet entertaining Nintendo themed content. Is this like SM4 type of content? I used to watch SM4. And Ouija Pie had everything a creator could want. I don't think I watched him though and more unfortunately the release of several pd 68 damn one more year in 69 what an age to be live F file allegations as well as ouija pie's poor response to oh. said allegations has all but destroyed the positive reputation he once enjoyed eventually forcing him to yeah, abandon the platform good. he worked so hard to build i simply refuse to give in to what is quite literally just a low effort non-serious clout chasing google doc made by a very hypocritical and immature teenager i have been pretty much crying for help the past five years and only people react when a pretty low effort and false uh. google doc is made against me i am insanely disappointed hi I'm the internet anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries towards. Oh my Devious acts. On the 6th of May 2017, Ouija Pie, aka Lucas, began his YouTube career by re uploading Lucas. specific Luigi clips from a much larger YouTuber yeah, SMG4. named SMG4. Top of the morning, you ladies. My name is Ouija Pie. Okay, guys. Wait, he is SM4. Welcome to Luigi's playthrough of Minecraft. This is my very first time, so I hope you guys like it a lot. Top of the morning, you ladies. My name is Ouija Pie. Okay, guys, welcome to Luigi's playthrough of Minecraft. This is my very first time, so. Wait, what? With the video garnering over 1 million views and hundreds of positive comments, the then 12 year old Lucas would spend the next three months re uploading SMG4 content in hopes of seeing. Oh, he re uploads. So wait, so he just stole content. That's all he did. The fuck? Similar results. However, by the 5th of August 2017, SMG4 became aware of Lucas stealing his content and expressed his concerns in the comment section, stating, Hey man, I don't mind that you've made a fan channel based off my mar- Bro, so many ads? What? This guy hungry, bro. He getting money, money. Bro, why is so much ads, bro? He, he, he eating good. He's eating video, good, but bro. Out of respect it's to been me two minutes, work, bro. Can you please not take footage from my main channel, SMG4, and the awesome Mario, I and re-upload them here? That is straight up stealing. Thanks for understanding. Almost immediately, Lucas uploaded a video apologizing to SMG4 and promised to never re-upload his videos again. Why keeps greening? Seizure. SMG4 would leave a positive reply in the comments section that read, It's alright man, I understand you did that because you like my stuff. It's all good man. In hindsight, producing his own take on Luigi content was the best thing Lucas could have done for his career, as he'd grow the channel from 10,000 subscribers to over 100,000 in just one year. Through consistent uploads and increased production quality, Lucas was able to maintain- no. So did he- Bro- mm. Nah, it's, it's actually getting annoying though. And the channels up. 
Is it per every minute there's an ad? Which trajectory to reach 1 million? We're about to watch 19 ads, bro. In subscribers by mid 2021 and 2 million by God, early 2023. Ads. However, going into 2024, things would take a much per darker minute. turn for Lucas as he faced the first of many in a series of allegations that threatened to undermine his entire career. On the 25th of January 2024, Twitter user Hushmush1 published a Google Doc alleging Ouija Pie was acting in appropriately with young community members on Discord. The four major accusations course, brought against court. Ouija Pie were 1. Using the F slur, 2. Using racial slurs, 3. Being transphobic, oh. and 4. Sending adult imagery to a group chat filled with minors. Reading, oh. Ouija Pie pulled a prank about a user who goes by V Mario to send a photoshopped yeah. nude of a man stroking That's... his redacted with a 3D Mario face on it. The purpose of this was to troll other members of the GC into thinking Proxy was being blanked. Not long <sighs> after this document was made public, Lucas received a dismissive Crazy. statement that described the accusation as a, quote, low effort, non-serious clout chasing Google Doc made by a very hypocritical and immature no, teenager. Lucas went on to claim he was allowed to use certain slurs and stated that he had no interest in addressing the allegation directly, reading, you usually just do this for PDF threats. You don't just ruin someone's life for likes. Yeah, I don't get it. they are allowed to say. If I write a statement, it's gonna be thought out, high effort, long, full of information and evidence. And It's like the, bro, it's like the it's like, oh, wait, wait, where am I going with this? Um, ah, it's like the people who actually uh, need fame don't get fame, and the people who get fame they don't need fame. There's where I was going. The world is made against good people, yeah, it sucks. Like, if you do bad shit online, you will literally get famous for doing bad stuff and you'll be awarded. And not a complete joke, unquote. In addition to this, Lucas announced he'd be leaving social media entirely, as well as playing the victim card by accusing people of hating him for no reason. Reading, I will be fully leaving Twitter and social media in general. People just have a gigantic Good. hate boner on me for whatever reason, even though yeah, it's super I nice the point of straight up being used as I if I was what? a flashlight. Fortunately for Lucas, he it's managed weird, to deflect though. the first wave of controversy by playing a victim and labeling his accusers as clout chasers. However, Lucas Lucas wouldn't be so lucky the second time around, as even more depraved and disgusting allegations were brought to the light. Okay, let's see. I feel like it's per minute. Wait, it was three, you know? Now it's five. So it's per two minutes? This time two minutes, but I swear before it was a one minute. We all just need to become serial killers, then we'll be famous. Ugh. I'm good on that. Welcome back, Saban. From the 5th of February to the 31st of March 2024, three new documents detailing Lucas's alleged history of grooming, soliciting images from minors, and harassing several different minors were brought to light. The documents were later combined into a 145-page file that covered the stories of eight different alleged victims that took place between 2019 all the way to 2024. The first victim discussed was victim number four, an alleged 14-year-old who was in an IRL relationship with Lucas back in 2000. 2019. While they were the same age, the document would oh. highlight several depraved obsessions that Lucas frequently expressed both during and after the relationship. An example of this was when Lucas allegedly bragged about receiving images from a minor to make his ex jealous. Reading, I also have screenshots of him telling me in 2021 to make me jealous and feel bad that he met a 12 year old girl and that he sent her blanks and she also sent some blanks to him. Peter, Paco, Peter. <laughs> Got another ad. Wait, so it's like one minute ad and then two minute ad. Nah, bro, these ads are killing me. The alleged victim. Yeah, it's six minutes now. Would go on to give a translation of what Lucas said. 
reading, wait, but blank, finally someone that goes further, blank, it's the first time I sent my redacted to someone else than you, she's not 12 years old, it's impossible, she's so hot, this wouldn't be the only time that Lucas supposedly bragged about the intimate details of his relationships, later in the document, claims of Lucas recording himself having relations with his then 14 year old girlfriend were discussed, along with the possibility of the video still being in his possession, what's even more concerning is that victim 4 would later reach out to confirm that it was indeed them in the video, Video by sharing a photo of the undergarments worn during the incident. Reading, no. this is the Pikachu underwear I was wearing when he was filming my butt. It's a pajama. That I was is... in middle school at this time and was 14. That's crazy. I, I, I feel like I, had, I, I did not need to see that. There might be a challenge from Mr. Beast. Whoever doesn't run their career, ruin their career in five minutes wins. What? I mean, this pattern cool. of allegedly soliciting images or other material from minors would unfortunately be present in Victim 5, a 12-year-old girl yeah. who allegedly dated Lucas in early 2021 when he was 16, with messages reading, Hey baby, when you can, can I have a picture with both your- No! This is so unfair! <laughs> oh, this guy's so lucky! I have to work harder! <laughs> Yo kitty- That was a minute. Welcome back again. <laughs> and your in the same frame yeah thanks for your time apparently after discovering lucas had lied about his age and that he was trying to groom her victim five attempted to expose lucas for preying on minors according to the document Good. lucas would dismiss her claims by calling the screenshots fake lying to friends about it and deleting all evidence after with yeah, a tweet fake. reading some fake weak ass evidence Too i'm not gonna try to yeah. win with this i've already warned her that i would take legal action if she didn't stop spreading misinformation about me this is just completely ridiculous taking things a step further, Lucas seemingly forced the alleged victim to admit the evidence was fake, with the alleged screenshots reading, tell him you faked it, if you don't tell him you faked it, this is gonna go really bad, I beg you to tell him before it's too late, this is very important, you have to tell him before something very bad happens for me, if you don't tell him, I'll never forgive you, please tell him, tell him it was fake, tell him you made it up, because you were angry, please, but I would call myself a liar, I told him everything, I don't know what to do, then he'll tell me why I'm defending you, yeah. with Lucas this is so unfair. <laughs> that was a minute. <laughs> Responding, stating, Would you rather call yourself a liar without any consequences or not? Minute, 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 two minutes? call yourself a liar and to make me in huge trouble if you ask why you're defending me just tell me you were angry and that you faked it and that you feel sorry about it because i was nice to you always while the cases of victim two and seven didn't contain the same degree of depravity their story showcased an obsessive possessive yeah, and aggressive side of, of lucas when it came to victim two she was allegedly a 15 year old girl that lucas was romantically obsessed with and tried to groom he even made a 12 minute confession to her and tried to emotionally manipulate her into dating him i really love you but like i i love love you i just i just want i just want to tell you i just really appreciate you i guess it's my way of like appreciating people again i don't know if like my brain is confused from all that's happened whatever happens i just i, I never want to like just I just want to stay friends with you regarding victim seven the document states no, that she bro. was fought huh? yeah <laughs> so many ads teen when lucas he he's really milking it bro i need to buy youtube premium for this shit his feelings to her and uh, began expressing uh, more intimate intent towards their relationship the lives turns 18 expired it's expired according to the alleged victim lucas would tell her to quote redacted over his pics told me to moan for him called me mommy so i would moan for him now that doesn't make sense him, and when i refused he moaned for me here's a short segment of said moaning hi in addition to this, Lucas would frequently solicit blanks from her. Whenever the supposed victim refused to participate or wanted to break- Bro, she's underage and you'll call her mommy. That shit is crazy. <laughs> Let's be fucked. 
Cards. Lucas would resort to emotional manipulation yeah, we did to not maintain need to control. Hear, need to hear that. While both parties had lied I'm about their respective myself. ages, Lucas Good. would show no signs of concern when he discovered how young she was. With a screenshot reading, you lied about your age, and I'm not complaining. Anyone else would have just blocked you right away. I'm at the risk of getting treated like a bro. PDF file. I'm trying so hard, but it's never enough. I just want to be loved. She said she was 12 years old when she met Lucas on Roblox, <laughs> when he was 17. As with many of the other alleged victims, Lucas would... I'm getting an ad overkill. Overdose. <laughs> Public excuse. Yeah, 12 or 17 is crazy. But supposedly frequently initiate inappropriate conversations, as well as sending and receiving images from them. According to the document, their relationship continued long after Lucas had turned 18, and he even tried to meet up with her at some point. With messages reading, Was that him telling you to go there if you were to go to him? He wanted to babysit me, because I would have gone with my dad, like he planned it all out. Sadly, this wasn't the only alleged victim Lucas tried to meet up with as he did the same things to victim one and two. Speaking of victim one, at 17 years of age, she's the oldest alleged- End the video and then go back here and in the same position. Uh, how does popular YouTuber ruin his life with one video? So we at 2031 and go at the end. No, this is so unfair. <laughs> oh, this guy's so lucky. I have to work harder. <laughs> would supposedly frequently initiate inappropriate conversations as well as sending and receiving images and two speaking of victim one at 17 years of age she's the oldest alleged victim and seems to be one of the more recent ones i mean i guess during the release of the expose documents Welcome victim back. one would attempt to cut ties with lucas but this was met with blackmail and threats of doxing with messages reading can i just make an account to talk to you with messages reading do what i said or i'm breaking up with you and i'll expose you alongside everyone else i'm not taking this lightly i'm even thinking about taking wait i don't think Wait, has Luca met Raj? Mr. Court, this so. is literal harassment. As well as all of this, this is private information. It's kind of my OG. Nope, huh? that didn't work. It would go way back. <laughs> that I can give authorities nope. to track you down. We can do this the easy way or the jarred way. I told you this two days ago. Your IP, more than enough for the authorities to track you. It's unclear if Lucas applied the same kind of emotional manipulation. <laughs> the authorities need to track you. Fuck you on about. Population to keep victim six, oh, who what? was 15 to 16, from speaking out against him. With the expose document stating that victim six changed their story from only having dated Lucas to only knowing him in a platonic sense. Reading, after dog number three, he came to us and admitted that they dated. Yeah, but interesting. a few days later, Everyone he had... completely switched up, saying that it was platonic the entire time, which was obvious. Obviously, a lie. Said individual would even go as far as defending Lucas during the. Didn't you help me land the second plane? <laughs> what? Controversy. Yeah. The last known and most recent is victim 8, who was allegedly 16 when she started dating 19-year-old Lucas. While there weren't any specific details given about their relationship, Lucas was able to get her to defend him on Twitter, access to her YouTube channel, and lie about cutting contact with him. Amongst all the claims of grooming, blackmailing, and soliciting CP, the expose document would highlight Lucas's tendency to threatening victims into silence. An example of this was how Lucas reacted to one of his exes who tried to warn other girls about him with translations of the messages reading you're really looking for shit saying things on me like that bad stuff on me you really want me to beat your ass up right you're the one who ruined my life asshole if you want me to send you at the hospital i absolutely have nothing to lose if i hear one more time that kind of shit you're really going to regret it this time to support their claims, the creator of the document included proof that the accounts and messages mentioned belonged to Lucas. As parts of this expose document were being released, a former friend of Lucas named Ress Brune would conduct an interview with a witness that added more proof to the claim that Lucas had been in a relationship with a 12 year old girl. <laughs> I feel like I can't watch it on stream. No, this is so unfair. This is Darth Vader. <laughs> Pour que tu, pour toi t'es tes preuves et tu dis que t'es pas en tort machin. Heureusement qu'il y a pas de screenshot parce que bon, les euh, médias parlant c'est des nuls donc bon. Euh, t'es bon c'est donc là c'est juste moi qui lui dis. Euh, 
en gros, le plan des screenshots, en gros, fait, fait gaffe. Mais qui avec ta meuf, c'est vrai que je dis ça parce que je parle d'une caméra. Hey yo, what the fuck? With such mortifying claims and allegations being made against him, Lucas would have no other option but to make a response. However, Lucas' response to the situation would only add more fuel to the fire. By the 19th of March 2024, Lucas published a video titled <laughs> Weezy Pies Debunk Response to the Allegations to an obscure <laughs> alternate YouTube <laughs> channel. In addition to this, Lucas turned off the comment section oh. and age restricted the video, which made it impossible. Fair, fair enough. Good night, Raj. For a large portion of his audience to become aware of the drama. At the start of the video, Lucas tackled the PDF allegations by affirming his innocence and claiming his accusers were not taking the situation yeah, seriously. Basically, the people accusing me are all old friends of mine. No, this is all so old friends of yours. So oh, I thought you were... Bruh, my bad. And they really did not take this whole thing any seriously. Like, you're calling someone a... Yeah, if, if you have comments disabled, that's kind of a red flag. That's very serious. Um, 19 ads, I think. You're you're talking about supposed it is milk victims. Memes. That's not how you respond to victims in a situation like this. Following this, Lucas would address the claims of him assaulting his then 14-year-old girlfriend. The accusation, it's from herself directly. And she says, took her somewhere and raped her it just doesn't make sense it's just like it's it's not even definitive proof which is a lot of this, brave this, this whole thing Let's pull up something on the screen yeah brave quick. don't sound like i'll it's be brave. french but yeah she herself wanted me to <laughs> Yeah. Regarding him allegedly making CP and still having it on his computer, Lucas had this to say. I don't know. I don't remember who, but Wait, there... what? Well, the option to do so. Your emotions don't matter. Did something horrible. I mean, yeah. True. They were being like, "Oh, you're a virgin. Oh, it's proof you're you you're a virgin." And it got to me when I was like fucking 15. And then I just sent that image. Censored. I'd like to make that fucking clear. It is censored. Like I, I, I did not show anything to anyone. Not that I would want to. I've never like done any revenge. Po I'm not. This is just stupid. Something stupid to do. Foreshadowing. And another assumption. Have you heard that the British police has arrested a man because he insulted a horse? I don't think I have. Is that I still have those files? A gay is an insult? The fuck? Which is like, are, dude, are you in my computer? No, you're not in my computer. Lucas continued to debunk one of the victim's accusations by claiming he was only trying to make friends. Dangerous, just from how I yeah, speak. Yeah, they should remove so that. These, um, I'm gonna say it every time, but um, they're not Photoshop <laughs> or anything. Like, that's very important to make clear. It just lacks very important screenshots that, of course, they don't include in this. But I basically just wanted to be friends. I wanted to be as kind as possible because <laughs> back to the first screenshot, um, when I try to be friends with someone and the first thing you say about me is, I feel like he's going to groom me or some shit. Nah, that's kind of funny, though. Yeah, that's not a... <laughs> That's not how you start everything. And I wonder that why she is he doing that? Escalated the relationship since she started the or whole she... like the whole friendship as oh this guy is a groomer the, or something. So she started flirting and I. It's so basically whenever spam is taking an L, we should call him a gay horse instead. Huh? Started flirting back, not denying that. Reminder that I, I was like, I just turned 17 at the time. Like, just turned 17. But when she said this, like, I, I understood and I stopped. Lucas would go on to state that specific parts of the document were faked, but he'd only give one example. In the list of things they're making up, um, there's this. I don't know what the fuck this is because I didn't know before the document that she was talking shit behind my back. Even at the time she blocked me, I didn't have a <laughs> negative opinion of her. However, Lucas did acknowledge other parts as factual. So just to clear things up, um, I did lie about my age. Not twice, just once. I still fucked up when lying, but just know I, yeah, I obviously shouldn't. didn't have any ill intentions. I said I, I was 16 instead of 17. 
the English difference. police. For the rest of the video, Lucas claimed his exes were the ones who initiated inappropriate discussions, shared screenshots out of context, and made false accusations. She also, like, was not a fan or anything. I met her through friends, so... And basically, we start dating, everything is normal for a while. And basically, all the messages are just private conversations, but I'd like to make it clear that later in the relationship, she started being overly sexual. Like, I did not initiate any sexual conversations. As well as trying to justify dating a 12-year-old by pointing out that she initially lied about her age. And finally, there's like mentions of a 12-year-old girl, but in the document, oh! her age. And like, fucking read that part, she lied about her age. Something worth noting is that Lucas hardly addressed any of the major allegations and confirmed that many of the screenshots oh, and the past the the shopping oh. ads were real. As a result, the video was heavily disliked and many viewers would beg Lucas to make a proper response on his main channel with a yeah, comment reading, cooked. Ouija Pie, I've loved your content for so long and do not want to see your channel die. Please, please do something else than ignoring everything. I'm not accusing you of anything. I just ask you to face the allegations and respond to them, please. To which Lucas would respond with, when I do, every word I say gets completely discarded. I'll wait for people that'll actually bother listening. In another reply, Lucas would defend his innocence by stating, Thank you for that last part. Respectfully, I need to further let you know I have done nothing illegal, and if you think otherwise, you've been misled. Morally wrong? What? Not really. Only wrong things I've known since I was one year younger and wanting attention when I was unhappy. However, I assume morally wrong is in terms of age gap. I've never had any age gap higher than 2.5 years, as anything greater than that makes me uncomfortable. It was clear that Lucas didn't want to further address the allegations, and only focused on minor claims that he could disprove. However, how long would that strategy remain viable? Especially when you consider the fact that many of Lucas's former friends are coming out to speak against him, videos debunking his response circulating online, and him not uploading a video in the last four months. In the wake of Mr. these Beast. allegations, Lucas has remained mostly inactive on social media platforms, with the only recent posts being made on his community tab. Although that hasn't stopped Lucas from discussing the controversy on other platforms, such as his Steam profile, with comments reading, unfortunate elf from arena profile picture, I do not like kids. MF seriously believe anything these days, don't look into it one bit and go out of their way to act like losers, brother. As well as, I respect that, as much as I try to prove I'm innocent, there's always losers that just dive headfirst no matter what, uh, so spam thank you. Doesn't I believe go to time will tell everything being said is not who I am. You Looking over at Lucas's social blade, his channel has remained largely unaffected by the controversy in terms of analytics, whether or not Ouija Pi will got more links though. But it's already 22. Mix. What? What is this, bro? Indian woman swimming in coral reef. AI generated. Popped up on your page of screenshot time. Okay, bro. Bro, don't go too fast. No, I'm good, bro. More screenshots? Right, there you go, Raj. This is even way. But why you get get this shit recommended? Oh, she ain't your type. No. Alright, oh, bro. Yeah, that's smart. Oh! Uh, now that's an AO. That is an AO. What? He's a furry. Confirm. That's not a real dog. That's a furry. Oh, hell no. 15K? Hey! YouTube, man. Crazy. It's interesting. YouTube takes time to pop off. Um, all right, I guess we pull. Yeah, let's pull. Um, all right, voting time. What are we playing? A few days ago, I saw an ad that flashed at you. 
What do you mean flashed at you? Like a white flash or like a... Oh! Well, how is that even possible? Ain't that a, against YouTube? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, in Facebook. Okay, I guess that's different. Alright, looks like, uh, make it meme. Oh, I put quick play. Private. Oh, great lobby. Max braucht neue Zäune für seinen Wald und die bestellt er sich bei Aquagard. Denn hier hat er nicht nur eine große Auswahl an Forst- und Wildzäunen zu einem spitzen preis leistungs -Verhältnis. Die Zäune und Pfosten lassen sich auch ganz einfach aufstellen. Die Wildzäune aus Knotengeflecht schützen sicher und flexibel gegen Verbiss. Die robusten Forstzäune sind vielseitig einsetzbar, lassen sich bei Bedarf auch wieder abbauen und umsetzen und schützen Mensch, Tier und Pflanzen. Wait, Mit den so Zäunen von Aquagard setzt Max Grenzen, ohne dabei an seine persönlichen Grenzen gehen zu müssen. You're gonna die. Yeah, I don't think Luca wants to join at all. Rod said he ain't playing. But you can still rig my poles. Wait, it's only me and spam though. That's Jackbox. I mean what do we even play? Murder. I guess we could. Company sexually woman for pro what? Oh no, you're answering. It's on buses in Denmark. Huh. I mean, yeah, sex sells, I guess. Let you be the VIP. Okay. Content. Welcome to my game that I won't bother telling you the name of because you turn tutorials off. First question. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Who's oh, laws this? actual game. Use your device to answer the question. Whose law is this? Equal and opposite oh. reaction. This is running up, me? and the correct answer is Murphy. Who Newton. got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. Welcome That's a to the comedy killing room. Sketch. It's Man. magic time. Pick a space inside the box to hide. Guys some spots some are better schooling. than others, but don't overthink it. I mean, yeah, it's it's been a minute. And I'll just thrust the sword into a random spot. Stab, stab. Oh, man. Close. Spam was close. You're going to see a lot of this elevator, so just get used to it. Okay. Let's keep moving. How many Earths could fit inside the sun? Oh. 
Time's almost up. Who picked this? I picked three. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show true. you something. <laughs> oh, it's wrong. Salutations! Welcome back to the killing room. Oh, you too. It's math. We picked one the of same one. Requested mini games. Uh oh. Do math as much time. math as you can before time runs out. Who's the smartest? If you can't get at least ten right, you die. Let's go. Huh. I thought this would have been more fun to watch. This is pretty much the end of the time. I knew it! Math is dangerous! I got 11 and you got 9. Wait! Oh, it was opposite. After I ran away from home to pursue my dream of being a game show host, I promised myself I'd never come back. But At least ten? You know what? This will make a great chapter in my eventual oh. memoir. Let me write it down. Let's try another one. I was close. What is not spread by mosquitoes? Either this or this. Who picked? One or four. This. I went one. Nice. Which leaves only you. It's time. Pegs! Spam getting pegs. You're going to drop Pause. down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm. Someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Hey, you. Pick the landing slots that kill. Okay. okay. Let the game Kinda even. begin. Dictation. It's like you don't know if they're going you right fuck. or left, but you know they're going down. Yo, that was close. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I should have made them all death zones. You got lucky. We're here. The final round is close. Next question. Yeah. Which continent has none of the top 10 most populous cities in the world? <gasps> Almost out of time. Who picked this? No. Oh. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Time for consequences. Wait, what? I don't get the question. I hope you're good with instructions. Follow as many rules oh, as you no. can before time runs out. I'm letting the safe player play too. And if they correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. The rules are already on oh. your device. Go, go! This game is really good for your cognitive skills. You know, if you survive. Almost out of rules time! I'm digging some rigging. You got lucky, bro. You keep getting lucky. Only one of you is still alive. You know what bro, that means. Bro, how? Will you get lucky third time. Congrats on making it here alive. But can you escape? Here's your first category. Plays by Moliere. 
Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. Poisonous plants. Time is almost up. Uh. Kind of a gimme. Draw back, maybe. Die. Maybe see you later. British colonies. Wait. Easy. Yo. Greek Islands. I cut it all wrong. Don't Shit. Don't disappoint me, ghost. Go faster. Don't look behind you. It's only darkness. Egyptian gods and goddesses. Time is almost up. Types of lettuce. Uh, Wi-Fi. Getting pretty close to the exit. Shit. We're back. Noble prize-winning scientists. It's not Steven Hat fucking. Okay. Primates. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, let's see if you got it, Spam. The exit is so close. Let the darkness consume you. It's not over yet. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Taking the L. I am, I am taking the L. Damn. Bro, I feel like you got so lucky. Finally you won, yeah. Spam. Good shit. Kinda knew I had the answer. Man, Raj, you jackass. Uh, now what? Do we play again or? Wait, say I need a calculator. Ahoy, and welcome to Trivia Murder Party! What's the sea is a harsh mistress, and this trivia game what will links? kill ya. First question. Does Which term Monday. describes a real phenomenon that swept Europe in the mid-1800s? Use Cat. your device to answer the question. What? Time's almost up. And the correct answer is... Who Fuck. got the question right? Which leaves only you. Follow me. We're not juniors anymore. Welcome to the killing room. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Uh... <laughs> Everyone else will answer too. And if Porn anyone matches you, you die. Two other thought, most viewed. Okay, brother. Get to writing. Uh.
Answer time is coming to an end. I have nothing. One of you didn't answer. Big mistake. Kind of anticlimactic, but a uh, death is a death. No clue. Oh, you read carefully? What? Oh, prone hope. Let's keep moving. Science. What's a vol? Man. A vol. This. I said fish. Only a ghost got it wrong. Lucky guesses. Let's try another one. No peace prize. Who freaky rectangular pupils? It was a rat. Freaky rectangular pupils. Rectangular. Wait. Who picked? Crocodiles. This. What? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. What? I want to show you something. Welcome to room 237. Oh, what the fuck they do? Congratulations! Weird. You've been entered in what my scratch fuck? ticket giveaway. Just scratch and find three dollar signs and you get to win. I didn't even realize they look like that. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Scratch away. Oh yeah, and if well, you, you keep scratching, up. I'll give you cash for extra dollar signs you find. No fun for me if you don't scratch more spots. Ooh. That was awful. That one was close. And I bought millions of these stupid tickets. Remember the book Eloise about a little girl living in a hotel causing mischief? I'm like her, but with more murder. I mean, yeah. Let's keep moving. But you gotta get real lucky. Who has been on the cover of Vogue the most times? Who picked this? The Selena Gomez. <laughs> Everyone is Check wrong. Check this vid later. Time for consequences. It's time stuff. Oh. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. They will be typing too. Raj. And if they type better than you, you die. How can a can help a canteen now, can be caned on the Canyon Clan be fan of Marcus Dupree like rapper Ku Klux Khan Mark C. Brew? In spite of all of your human flaws, I bet it is really nice. How do you feel about having to pick up dog poop? How can a can help a canteen can be caned the on the Canyon part. Clan be fan of Time's Marcus up. Dupree rapper Ku Klux Khan right, Mark C. Brew? Right and give this a once over. And here's how you did. But did anyone do better than you? Damn. Yes. Good job. Bro, you locked in. You fucked me up, Raj. I was already dead, though. We're here. The final round is oh close. Next question. Which of these countries' flags has three horizontal stripes? Three horizontal stripes. Oh. Who picked? Yeah, easy. This. How do you not? Which leaves only Spam. you. It's time. <laughs> How do you not do that? I'm going to give Ooh. you a chance to password protect your life. Okay. 
Enter a real four-letter word with your device. This ain't no gift. Don't make it easy. If someone cracks your password, now your nemesis will crack the password. Guess the really password really? on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. Start guessing! Bro, what the fuck is it? Time's almost up. I thought everyone was good at passwords these days, but I guess Bro, I was wrong. Oh, you fuck. You say gifts, I should have went with a gift. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. I was not guessing that. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? Here's your first category. Movies with a werewolf. Oh, Raj, I would have gotten Tell zero if I went with the that. Category and then press submit. Uh... Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. WWE wrestlers. Literally didn't. Time is almost up. Mike Myers characters. No, I don't. I guess the whole thing. Those ghosts are closing in on ya. Vodka brands. I'll take it. A lot of lucky guesses. Bro, I'm getting up. Don't fall behind. Here comes the darkness. Stage names. Time. That ghost can smell your life force. Canadian national holidays. Time is almost up. Coexisted with dinosaurs. What? You killed your friend. Better get away fast. James Patterson novels. Oh my gosh, who's it gonna be? How was it? Yeah, I lived in the dinosaurs era. Ten but... letter words. Ugh, I gotta get some harder questions. Bro. One last trap. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You have to get all the right answers to escape. I was so close, bro. I was so close.
James Bond villains. Uh, yeah, I do. Time is almost up. Are you serious? We both got it right. Bragg. I was so close too, bro. I was so close. Did he even try to mind mold? What? What does that mean? Category, I guess. Your link, bro. You don't have a. Oh wait, that is a link. I thought that was the prone hope. Bro, Mr. Bean is so good, though. <laughs> Bro, Dobby. Hey, I appreciate appreciate you staying. Um, we're playing. Who's Dobby? I don't know. <laughs> Dobby Tenor. All right, bro. I don't think he's here. <laughs> Wait for you. Yeah, I think Dobby's waiting for you, Raj. <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> oh, is this actually just some random person put a random code and joined in? That's not even possible. Alright. Uh, what are we playing though? It's only me and you though. Murder again? I think he hacked. He hacked in. Guess? I guess. Yes, bastard. Is it like yes, master? If so, then I'm good on that, bro. Oh, it's a hot one today, isn't it? Sure is. Tomorrow will be even hotter, they say. It's from the woman's the perspective. I don't buy that. Ah. Uh, Apparently. Okay. Wow, geez, that's, that's gonna be uh, uh, really hot. Yeah. Well, personally, I prefer the cold. I guess that's it. Me there ain't no Dobbies here. I just don't like hot weather. I just don't know what it is. I'm with you. See, I'd much rather be like a little bit chilly than sweating all the time. My thoughts exactly. Wow. It's moments like these I don't get why only 4% of people enjoy awesome One, small talk. Two, I completely three, agree. Four, five. Okay. Three, two, I was lucky to guess one. the code, yeah. The fuck? Well, I've played all the Tetris I can stand for the next few days. I the guess not be enjoying it. No, not switch to Dr. Mario. Take all the info Mario. the government has collected on its citizens and use it to play a little game I like to call script running. Espionage. So he joins random rooms. <laughs> Off we go. Okay. Let's start with you. Time to see case so yeah. Okay, here's your chance to clean. Don't up. drop the soap. What percentage of people currently have fancy soap in their bathrooms? 
a body student. For Give it your best guess. You I get mean, more points guess, the closer uh, you come to the actual percentage. Fancy soul. I mean, you're almost out of time. Got it. Twenty-eight percent. Now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Hey, welcome back, Sabin. Gotcha. Like Lower. soap and is the a correct soap. Answer I is mean, true. Twenty-three percent. Yo, I was close. Dang, though. you nailed that guess. And the actual answer was lower, so you get points. Very fancy. You don't understand, kiddo. Who's next? It's still soap, though. Last longer. Get us cap. The ladies go crazy for it. All right, bro. Yeah, you have experience, Raj. What percentage of people never ever wear shorts in public? Twenty-seven percent. What do you think? Everyone wears shorts in public. Never. What do you think? Higher or lower? I'm gonna go higher. You're saying higher. And Surveil says... 14%. Really? And trust us. There are places that are cold, though. Never mind. And that ain't right. You'll get him next time. Ask Nicole. Ah, right, yeah, sure, okay, bro. who's up next? We had it? I don't Breathe remember. It in. All right, or buckle cold, in. I I've got one for you. Vacation scheduling. What percentage of people like to have definite itineraries when going on vacation? Uh, what? And if you're in the audience, play along by answering the question. There's audience in here? What the fuck? Anytime now. I don't know. 18%. Okay, higher or lower? Oh, you're in the audience. Hi, Dad. Going with higher. Now let's get to the right answer. I feel like it's low. 14%. I'll take it. Ooh, just a few percentage points off. Well done. I'll come to be different. You can. And sorry, no points. <laughs> huh. Next up. Bro, he's clutching. Oh, here's yes one we've been no. especially interested in. Don't ask why. Huh. The percent can change? What percentage of people put ketchup on hot dogs? Why can you change the percent? That's kind of fucked up. That's fake news. What do you think? Ketchup on hot dogs. I have to go lower. Breathe it in. Going with lower. And Surveil says... 67%. I've got big points for that guess. We keep getting close. We've got dogs that way. Well done. You get points. Alright, bro. We've got a comedian over here. That's it for round one. Let's take a look at the Okay, so scores. come on, bro. You already drink the one in. jug. Go for the second Round two, one. Here we come. And you got my soda. Who's right. up first? Yippee! Ooh, I remember seeing this. Yippee! 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 There was no kitty doll. What percentage of people have received Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You'll Go as a gift? Yeah. In round two, you can double down if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Just pick much higher or much lower. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll get nothing. Hi, Dad. 
lower it is. Way lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 23%! And yet 6% of those people still went absolutely nowhere. Wait, do you get the spot point? Good job. Double points you for don't. saying much lower. Wait, you do! Who's you got that? points. You got so lucky. Gotta admit, what the fuck? tastes way better than candy lettuce. What percentage of yeah, people exactly purchased candy corn last Halloween? Thirty-three percent. Okay, higher or lower? I mean, it's global. That's an American okay, right thing. Is... Yeah. Twenty-three percent. Nice. Add the percentage. That is so weird. That's like fake news, though. But I. Right. Well done. You get points. Okay, who's up next? Breathe it in. We've collected data about everything, even this. Sheets. What percentage of people wash their bed sheets at least once a week? So low. Be alone. Oh no. About to jinx it though. Uh. Once a week. You're almost out of time. Oh, Twenty-seven no. percent. What do you think? Gotta be like lower somewhere. The vote is higher. Okay, oh, you let's see higher. the right answer. 12%! That's what we call... Way lower. I still got some points, though. And since you were wrong, let's keep moving. Who's next? I don't know. How about... I uh, would flex saving. Wait, you misunderstood the question? What percentage of people have in anger damaged or destroyed things they were assembling? Ooh. What? You're trolling. Your mom must be pissed. 57%. Okay. Okay. Higher or lower? Say lower. lower it is. Surely. And the correct answer is. Surely. Fifty-seven percent. On Whoa, the dot. Exactly right. What are the chances? I try to find that out, but I don't have my graphing calculator. Yeah, right I'm here. cooked. Sorry, everyone. Genius here gets all the points. Bro, <laughs> just cheated. Shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm cooked. Uh-oh, final round time. There's no way. We embedded microchips in hundreds of subjects and found the most popular answers to this question. Which musician or music group delivered the best Super Bowl halftime performance? Here are the most popular answers. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Ready, go! If you're in the audience, how you answer the question will affect who gets points. I don't know. Let's see what answers you chose. Yeah, I don't know who's who. Now, let's take a look at the results. Ooh. Ooh. Prince, wait, yeah. No, I don't think I win. You got a lot of now points. Let's see those final scores. Okay, so yeah, you already ate everything. Wait, that was so close. Wow, you have yeah, some ain't nothing, bro. Queso got everything. Lives. Well done. Queso, bro, thinks like stuff will just uh, reappear after he ate the whole fridge. It can change percent. 
Oh, five or more audience. Interesting. Not a spam, but you were real close. Um, Sabian, you joining? I'll say rolls then, right? Yeah, let's do rolls. Hello there, test subjects. Sign in with the room code, then take a picture or draw yourself for our records. Wait, Rod's joined as well. I thought you didn't want to join. Wait, spam is blue. <laughs> okay. Man, that's combat, yeah. What even Rogers? Three, two, one. Welcome to role models. Please don't touch anything. Here at the lab, we've spent <coughs> ah, oh. we've been on the tour before. Everyone vote for the category that looks the most interesting. Preferably something you all know a bit about. I feel like these are all bad. Which friend from friends are you? So, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each friends, one to the role you think fits so them best. That friends. includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, we'll check out the results. Let's see what everyone picked. Oh, you voted cocktails. Bro, you're underaged. <laughs> Let's Fuck look you at those cocktails. votes. Get rid of the outliers. You Best actually got the 99. Yippee. That's insane. I like to keep my guinea pigs motivated, so I'll give you guys these nutritious insane, science bro. pellets. Whatever you your answers right. match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. You're Plus, 11. they're a healthy snack. He's not a little. That 99% guess paid off. Subjects who already have a role can't get this one, so yeah. we'll take out these votes. Ooh, fun. Two subjects are tied. We're gonna need another test to figure out who gets this role. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Write your answer on your device. Your fellow lab rats will decide uh, whether you get the role. Even if you're not sure you want the role, I'm handing out science pellets to the winner, so do your best. It's an experiment, man. You think the frog always wants to get dissected? That's what we're working with. T-Rex, because that's the only one now. I can spell right. T-Rex, because big and strong. And you're big and strong? Yeah, I'd call that pretty conclusive. Okay, well, this, this is rigged. Your achievement in this test definitely deserves some science pellets. Don't say I never did anything for you. It ain't. Whatever. And by association, Al Pacino's butt double. Oh. Wait, that makes... Okay, you know what? Never mind. You're Sometimes right. Sometimes one vote is all it takes. Guess I'm Rachel. Slay. 
Here's where we landed. And here's how you're doing on science pellets. Remember, you get pellets when your answers match the group or you perform the best in a tiebreaker experiment. I still Keep got more than Raj. No, we're tied. Pigs. We're tied. Okay, what's next? I guess. Yeah. Unless it's a fucking movie or something. Quick question. What do you okay. need? Okay, make those matches. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. Mmm. Fuck. This could be both of them. Let's see where we landed. Uh, maybe I sold. Peace and quiet. Me? Really? Damn kids. I sold. And your 99% guess was 100% right. A hug. Yeah, I thought for me it was a hug Just or. Just put your uh, arms together and squeeze. Or you, baby, because I'm lonely. Spam. Cheers. Hello. Drink the pain away. Aww, I guess uh, he he was like down bad. True. Yeah, I sold. Here's who's who. I sold. Oh, and you? You are scary good at this. Do you want a job? Watching the baby. Uh, okay, I feel like I'm getting to know you guys, so let's see if I can do anything with the data we have so far. Based on your roles, you're total opposites. At least in this one extremely specific way. Party, dude. We're not leaving here until we find Square. out which of you is better at being you. If a bar named a drink after you, what would be in it? <laughs> I want both party. of you to write an answer that fits the trait above your head. Your well, peers will decide whose answer fits the best. Square was something boring, right? I think so. It did say the opposite. Party and what's opposite of party, dude? Because partying is just supposed to be fun. Here it is. Iron Both beer. Your devices now. Oh, a tiny bit of lime water and some vanilla. I guess. No clear winner there. Oh. Our extensive background research says the real winner is you. Your roles tell me that you're polar opposites. From a very specific point of view, anyway. Stylish. Science demands an experiment to see which of you is better nice. for science. How would fashion magazines describe your current outfit? Enter your answer on your device. I don't really have my outfit currently. 
I would not go outside with these clothes. I'll be honest. That's what they came Sloppy up with. Sloppy hobo style. Vote on your devices now. Raj found his clothes in a dumpster truck. In science, we oh. call that a shutout. Shut the my ass. This will be our last category, so choose wisely. <laughs> Bro, we're all lonely. This is perfect. Which type of lonely are you? Let the truth telling begin. For me, what? Out who you are I'm too scared uh, someday you're rolling in a castle it's today the rats like don't even style. say hi Oh, wow. Yippee. You really know yourself, or at least what your friends think of you. Sure, 99 did. Night Owl, yeah, I went based on that. <laughs> of course, me eating. Hey, you got the role you wanted. I'm a fat fuck. <laughs> There's our lineup. Damn, Raj is first. Yeah, that was GG. the final piece of data. Get GG. ready for your final rolls, as determined by everything your fellow subjects said about you. Nerdy, neurotic, speedo square. Spoiled, overwhelmed, wannabe fashion icon. Extremely inebriated, funny. Drinker. And my favorite little lab rat with the most total science pellets is. Super messy, boneheaded, sweetheart. Sweetheart, huh? You said you you will break someone, someone's feelings apart or some shit. Sweetheart, my ass. Do we end it or a uh, quick guess? Guess I quick guess. Yeah, last time I fucked up. What's with the new vending machines? There's like 18 buttons to press for a soda. Oh, right. The soda's encrypted now. What? Come on! Oh, I can't fucking... I thought it was J-X-X. I-J-X-X. But it's I-J-X-K. Breathe it in. Shit, am I honest? Cannot hey, read. Tina, you get any ah. interesting results from tapping into those cell phone cameras? Oh, yeah. Raj got 60% of the people Two. were taking selfies. 60%... Hello, we've been watching you. Wait, that sounded weird. We've been watching you, and now we're sharing your secrets with the public. Yay. Mm, not much better. Uh, oh, well. We made a game out of all this info, and we call it... Uh, it turned one millisecond faster. 
Let the guespionage begin. So. Okay, who's first? Man, foolish. I didn't ask this up yesterday. I thought, like, ain't no one there, so I thought it wasn't sub only. What percentage no one of people was, own corn holders? You know, no, the little handles you stick in the ends of corn on the cob. No one was there because he had Try some. Guess the correct percentage as close as you can. Shit in my the closer ass. your guess is to the correct percentage, the more points you earn. Own corn holders. Okay, we have a guess. Twenty-five percent. Okay, everyone else, time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. Breathe it in. I'd say lower. Ha! Just one of you is saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 50%. So half of you own them or all of you own one? What you need is something to hold your corn. You Ooh, got hands to hold your corn. Bro. Next up. Breathe it in. We Unlucky Roach, it everything. wasn't your turn. Even this. Haircut. What percentage of people usually have friends cut or style their hair? Oh, this is difficult. Um. I feel like it's over 50 because of like woman. Anytime now. I don't know. 62. 62%. Everyone else, higher or lower? I would not Ooh. trust your friends. <laughs> Three points. Really? Everyone is saying lower. Okay, let's see. I feel the right like answer. it's high. Oh. 16%. Terrible guess. You need to be within 30% to even get points. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. I'm selling. Who's next? Ha! All right, let's see if the database can solve a long-running argument. Only a spoonful. What percentage of people prefer to use the big spoon instead of the small spoon when eating breakfast cereal? I mean, why would you eat with the small spoon? <laughs> you go insane. 69%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? 69. Foolish. You know what? I'd say it's even higher. I agree, Saber. <laughs> Just one person says lower. Okay, right answer is... 7%. You get points, but barely. Who got it right? Hey, thank you, Sven. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Small spoon? Why? Okay, who's up next? Hi, Dad. Oh. oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. Congress. What percentage of U.S. citizens have contacted their state or federal congressperson? Good so this is not global. This is USA. It says global, though. Global my anus. Time's a wasting. Thirty-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? I don't even know what the question means. Oh, no. Breathe it in. I'm going higher. Just one person says lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. I'll take it. 42%. Wow, that's a lot of ignored let's people. Let's see the cheats at work. <laughs> what cheats? Let's see who got it right. Good guess, though. Here's some points. No clue what that question means. Let's see hey, what you stand after yeah. round one. Breathe it in. Oh, ah, Time for round two. Pause. 
Let's start with you. It did say global. I think you're all tall. But the question said U.S., so I guess it's U.S. <laughs> this shit don't. What percentage of people have bought pictures of themselves on rides at amusement parks? Huh. Ears, frogs, what? We have an answer. Forty-five. Yeah, some people take In a pick of two, that you pick. Can double down if you think the guess is off by fifteen percent or more. Just pick much higher or much lower. Mm. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll get nothing. Ah. Damn, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know, lower. Only one of you thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 49%! Excellent answer. Points for you. It's a Roach type of question. 49%. Right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. 50. <laughs> Who's next? Breathe it in. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. That this should win, uh, ovations, what? What percentage of audience members will not give standing ovations if the rest of the audience remains seated? percent what do y'all think <laughs> I don't Higher really get the question oh no mob mentality what <laughs> one of you thinks it's higher and the correct answer is 40 percent in the spy community we call that social compliance now the one or two people who stand up and applaud they can't be trusted Brag. Let's see who got it right. Got Great some points answer. still though. Double points for saying much lower. Rudge sold. Next up. Ha! All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? Misunderstood. Same here. What percentage of people call winter their favorite season? Hmm. 50%. Okay. okay. Higher or lower? Breathe it in. Personally, my favorite season is winter. But, uh, people are not built like me. The vote is lower. And the correct answer Gotta is... Gotta be lower. Yeah, way lower. 15%! I would have expected a higher number of people who enjoyed the season than Fuck, I should have doubled down. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Who's next? Yeah, it is. What should I search for in the old surveillance pro no. next? Bro, Ooh, all I the know. bugs die. They're not graping you 24-7. That's a big bonus. I don't give a fuck. What percentage of people go by their middle names? Go by the middle names. Staying at home, no more bugs, no. 40%. Everyone else, higher no. or lower? Ha! I'd say it's lower. Breathe it in. Maybe way lower. <laughs> Just one of you is saying higher. And Surveil says... Yeah, I should have gone way lower. Thank goodness Harry Truman didn't go by his middle name. Just look it up. You don't mostly go by your middle Let's name. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. What's middle name, Simon? Uh oh, <laughs> final round time. Through some middle name, literally, profiling, bro. we found the most popular answers to this question. No, this is Cap. What's Bill Murray's best movie? No, that's Let's real. see what we have. Who the fuck is Bill Murray? You have three guesses. The three most popular answers are worth points. Good luck! Huh. Got 
gotta be those three. I've actually seen them. I've seen the movies that I picked. Let's see what answers you chose. And what are the most popular answers? Damn, Zom I really like Zombieland. Ground, no, nah, Groundhog Day was so good though. Ghostbusters the most, really? And the winner Kitty. is... Breathe it in. Last place. Kitty! Kitty! Congratulations, you're the most surveillance surveillance I've ever seen. spam. Kitty! Kitty! Yeah, you did cook. Up with the kitties. First was enough. Bro, Raj, you keep trying, huh? So you ready, Dr. Sushi? Jackbox. Do I do this? Oh, this he is played so Genshin. This is so bad. Oh, JK. Wake the fuck up! So bad. Uh, why do I have to go over the mouse? Maybe you have someone else, someone new. Wake the fuck up! Get Get no, having this is crazy. Stole my phone. Yeah, he oh, said joke. I saw stole it. Stole his phone. Get Kitty! Wake the fuck up! Wake the fuck up! Kitty! Wake the fuck up! Good evening! The winner yeah, is Moonlight with over 10. Really expensive though, like, what the fuck? Purple? Is Naughty Pack gonna be out in six hours? Only cool one is Dr. Sushi. Madness? Wait, can I have madness? Yeah, I do. Oh, there's none? I remember this. I don't Sim remember that, seven. right? Buckshot roulette. There's only one guy. That's fucked up. Is it meant to be? I hope he gets sick from this. Bro got E boy in his name. That's funny. <laughs> one in his thingy. Uh, that's not Pog. E boy is crazy. Please no. Okay. Is this, oh yeah, true. I 
forgot. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm about to take some major damage It's not. On their programming and video game dev. Oh, no, I'm, uh... His Wi Fi is low key dog shit. Alright, fuck it. As always, love all your mentals. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And I'll, uh, it's sub only, it's not. I'll double check. It's not double. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Hey, I'm not that guy, but, uh, I am, uh, that fella. So, yeah, oh, uh, so, uh, peace out and, uh, good. Penis! Brock Burger Raid. I kind of want his magnifying glass. It's a blank. Yo, thank you for the raid.